in order to perform a gram stain, one must place a sample of your bacteria on a microscope slide and heat fix the bacteria to the slide by passing the slide quickly through a flame. Next, one would apply a few drops of the crystal violet stain to your sample and let it stand there for say 20 seconds or so. After 20 seconds, crystal violet can be gently removed with water. This will stain all of the cells purple because it can stain the peptidoglycan cell wall of gram-positive bacteria and the lipopolysaccharide outer membrane of the gram-negative bacteria. If one were to look at the cells under a microscope at this step, they would all be purple. Next, a few drops of iodine are applied to the sample. Iodine acts as a mordant. It helps to fix the primary stain, the crystal violet, in the cross-linkages of the peptidoglycan cell wall of gram-positive bacteria. After about 20 seconds, water will gently rinse it away. Next, decolorizer is dripped down your slide to remove the purple stain. If it is only applied for 10 seconds or so, it will be sufficient to remove the stain from the outer membrane of the gram-negative bacteria, but not sufficient to remove the crystal violet stain from the cell walls of the gram-positive bacteria. The outer membrane of the gram-negative bacteria is removed, which then reveals their very thin peptidoglycan layer of their cell wall. Next, a few drops of the pink counterstain safranin are applied to the slide. This will not stain the gram-positive bacteria because of the purple crystal violet stain which has been fixed with iodine in their thick cell walls. But the newly exposed thin peptidoglycan layer in the gram-negative bacteria will stain pink with this counterstain safranin. Finally, the specimen can be observed under the microscope to distinguish between the gram-positive bacteria whose thick peptidoglycan layer of their cell wall has trapped the purple crystal violet stain and the gram-negative bacteria which have stained pink because of the safranin counterstain which has adhered to their thin cell wall. The gram stain is often the first diagnostic test done when identifying bacteria, and it is very important. There are some bacteria which do not stain definitively using the gram stain, and archaea lack peptidoglycan in their cell wall. So it is extremely useful, although not universally applicable.